Hey world, it's been one to come back with another video. I must say I'm 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 well read, you know, and uh, you know I think I've, you know, from different sectors and different, you know, topics. I'm pretty well versed on a lot of different topics, but I must say I wasn't very well versed on the topic of the slave Bible. I actually didn't even know a slave Bible existed. Okay, and like I have a sister that watch that she you knows she's a devout Christian, and her Bible has been read probably a thousand times by her, highlighted, underlined, you know. And, and I said, I'm, I'm, I'll be fifty one this year. My my sister, she's she'll be fifty. She's fifty, right? Cause we you you know. We used stair steps, and so she became a devout Christian, and uh, and she's deep into the Word, you know. And so, me being the cat, you know, a spiritual cat, and not even, you know, because I can't even begin to even, you know, entertain those TV evangelists or just preachers, it preachers. Period. That's not really teaching, you know, the true Bible's meaning. I mean, if you're not even acknowledging the Book of Thomas then to me, I don't really think you're being real about it because, you know, even with tithes, I just think that's kind of, I think that's kind of a, 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 a something that is deceptively, you know, hidden by uh, the masses that are preachers and TV evangelists. I just can't understand how them personally could go to sleep at night knowing that you got members of your congregation that's lights off or, you know, not going to be able to pay the car notes or, you know, have student loans. Imagine a number of uh, con uh, church congregation members that are members of these big churches that pay tithes and you have a student loan that's defaulted. You know, and like I say, that's why I don't, try, I don't get into it. Religion is division. And I love my sister 50 grand, no matter what, you dig? But... You know, I just think it's like how many times can you read a book over and over and over again? And and you know why? Because you're still searching for something. I mean, the book, you know, it's the greatest book ever written, but it's secular history. It's not real history. So it's like, and those that are in the know or the quote unquote elite know this. Why you think the Bible has been desecrated, translated? Okay? And violated. The oldest Bible uh, that I'm told that I've actually kind of looked into was in Ethiopia. And I think it was like 88 books of the Ethiopian Bible. And I think uh, the Bible here is like 66 books. 66. That number alone throws some suspicion. You dig? And, and only it throws suspicion to those who are enlightened to a more esoteric type of information, a more esoteric type of consciousness. You dig? And so when I look at the Bible, I didn't know that was, I didn't know a slave Bible existed. And when I kind of come across this information on the wire, it, it blew me away. Okay? Let's get into it. Inside Washington's Museum of the Bible, a single volume that is like no other. The so-called Slave Bible. Remarkable not for what's in it, but for what's not. So about 90% of the Old Testament's been removed, and about 50% of the New Testament's been removed. Uh, to put it another... Wait a minute. 90% of the Old Testament has been removed, and 50% of the New Testament has been removed. Okay, that that was the the Bible that they gave to the initial people that were enslaved. Okay, when they introduced them to Christianity, they introduced in the you no know, formerly enslaved and enslaved people a Bible that had ninety percent of the Old Testament removed and fifty percent of the New Testament removed. <laughs> what are you hiding? Okay. I know what you're hiding. 
And it's something why, and it's a big reason why we as Afro-melanated people don't know who we really are. Let's get into it. The other way, a normal King James Version has 1,189 chapters in it. Uh, the Slave Bible has only 232. Missing are chapters and verses that might have encouraged uprisings. Book of Exodus, redacted. No story of Moses demanding Pharaoh, let my people go. Gone is Galatians. In the verse, there is neither bond nor free, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And Okay, so <laughs> in the Slave Bible... They took out Exodus. <laughs> no Moses telling, telling Egypt to let my people go. Now these are people that's from Africa, the, from the motherland. That this history had to, had to be a part of their existence. But Exodus ain't even in the Bible that they gave to the, you know, enslaved people. To create this psychology of docility. Okay. Now you see why the police are trained to be more aggressive with us. Because they, they've been told that no, no, no. Be aggressive with them. They'll be docile. And if they're not docile, arrest them. Okay. Because we expect them to be docile. No matter how you talk to them. Okay. This is the mindset. Let's get into it. And no Jeremiah, woe unto him that useth his neighbor's service without wages. What they've left in are verses such as Ephesians 6, 5, which is the famous verse, slaves be obedient to your master. Looking at this Bible, it's hard to tell that anything's been taken out of it. That's correct. I mean, it looks like a normal book. For many enslaved Africans, this would have been the first time they were exposed to the Bible. Man, it's, 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 it's funny, but it's hurtfully funny. You hear what he said? This was the first time enslaved people were exposed to the Bible. And they took out all that information. Wow. In the meantime, between time. No, no, no. I got to keep this going, family. I got to keep this going. I got to decline that call. Let's get into it. Let's stay into it. Hold up. I think he said, let's go back to the Anything verse. Taking out of it. Let's go back to the verse that they made sure they took out of it. Let's listen to it again. That's correct. I mean, it looks like a normal book. For many enslaved Africans, this would have been the first time they were exposed to the Bible. A Bible selectively edited to instill obedience, using religion to underpin the horror of slavery. When people encounter this exhibit, what lasting impression do you want them to leave with? Well, we want to pass the message on that may this never happen again. Uh, <laughs> They say they want to, I'm sorry. I, I thought I was on the phone. I'm about to say, wow. I'm, 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 I'm damn near discombobulated. Wow. And now, and this, this slave Bible is in a museum. But they say they just want to make sure this never happens again. Why is it in the museum? Wow. Hold up. I, I need to go back. Isaacs. Book of Exodus redacted. No story of Moses demanding Pharaoh, let my people go. Gone is Galatians. In the verse, there is neither bond nor free, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And no Jeremiah. Woe unto him that useth his neighbor's service without wages. What they've left in are verses such as Ephesians 6, 5, which is the famous verse, slaves be obedient to your master. Looking at Slaves. Slaves be obedient to your master. They, made, they left that in. Okay. Hold up. Guys. I'm dropping the video. Big shot. Daddy dropping the video. Hold tight. We're going to go to the park in a minute. Sorry, guys. I digress. They left that verse in. Right? And so what this tells me is this. You had the slave Bible that Afro-melanated people had to follow. And, of course, they had their picked so-called preachers to preach to perpetuate this. This was the first time the Bible was ever introduced to enslaved people and it and it and it uh didn't have what not it, it was missing nine hundred verses of the New Testament and five hundred of the I'm sorry nine hundred of the old testament and five hundred of the New Testament right 
And they think they're telling us the truth right now. Okay? But let's keep it a thousand. Is the Apocrypha in the Bible right now? Is the book of Thomas in the Bible right now? What about the book of Enoch? Is that in the Bible right now? So what Bible are we following? Or what Bible are the Christians following? Because it's obvious and evident that, wow, you've been given a Bible they want you to read. To stay docile. To look up for your salvation instead of looking inside yourself. Because see, the book of Thomas teaches that. Wow. Wow, fam, let's, 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 let's stay into it. When people encounter this exhibit, what lasting impression do you want them to leave with? Well, we want to pass the message on that may this never happen again. Uh, the Bible itself is a, is a whole book. It's not one that you get to carve up and use this piece or that piece. The slave Bible designed to repress rebellion, but it didn't work. Enslaved people in the Caribbean constantly fought against slavery until emancipation. I think it's very relevant to understand our history, not just American history, but our African-American history, our roots and how we got to this point. A dark chapter in the history of the good book. Je A dark chapter in the history of the good book. But let's not talk about that. We don't talk about that no more. You know what I'm saying? No, no, we good now. No, it's the right Bible now. No, we good. We, we just, we're going to make sure that never happens again. Y'all keep reading it. And don't worry about the book of Thomas and the book of Enoch and the Apocrypha. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay? Wow. Well, fam, I hope this enlightened some of you guys. Uh, once again, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this uh, video. And uh, make sure you hit the notification button so you know when I'm dropping another video. Man, I'm sorry I kind of got close to that phone, man, because I, I thought I was on... I was, Thought I was talking on the phone, man. I was, wow. Wow. In the meantime, between time and the most high society bring you joy and being with us out of 5,000.